Gather up your projects, settle in your favorite spot. It's time to stitch with Sarah at her stitchy Camelot. Let's celebrate each other, this community we've got. It's time to get down to Sarah's stitchy spot. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my Floss Tube channel where we will discuss and celebrate all things cross-stitch. Grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable, and join me at Sarah's Stitchy Spot. Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Floss Tube number 56. It is Wednesday, August 28th, 2024. We're just about through August now, aren't we? Um, I think that's going to be a welcome relief for most of us. Anything that gets us closer to fall and cooler weather is going to be all right by most of us. So hello. Um, uh, I would like to take this moment to welcome each and every one of you to my FlossTube channel. As I do at the beginning of every video, I want to thank um, my husband Stan, who is presently out there making just a little bit of noise on the deck for writing and um, performing the intro song that you just heard. Yes, uh, Stan ended up having to do the bulk of the work on the deck, so we're not done. Um, he is aware that I'm filming and, um, and he will be as sensitive to that as he can. So um, if you are new to my FlossTube channel, um, I hope you like what you see, that you will subscribe, share, ring the bell, like, and do all the things that we do on FlossTube. For all of you that are returning, it's always good to see you. I always can't wait to see you, to, um, to share my stitching with you. And as I mentioned last time, it is becoming all the more meaningful because I am slowly starting to put faces with the names of the comments. And I, I have no words to tell you all what that means to me. We did just have the third Zoom uh, Stitchy Meetup, and um, our surprise guest floss tuber was Jackie from Comfort Stitching. We had a lovely group. They they just uh, they just go beautifully. Um, I'm I'm really happy about the um, the small intimate uh, groups. Uh, gives us time to talk and to share and to ask questions. And so, um, without further delay, uh, let's go into who are going to be the next 10. So, these are the, um, the names that I picked with the random comment picker for Zoom number four, which will be, um, I put the wrong date, it will be September 8th, Sunday, at, um, from 12 to 2. Uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will have all of that below. So especially for uh, these 10, please don't forget to check out the Google form in the uh, description box, and please fill that out so that I will have your email, and I can send you uh, the uh, link for the Zoom call. So here are our next 10. Virginia Efta, the Disorderly Stitcher, the Physical Stitcher, hi Brenda. Uh, Marion, and, and I hope I don't mispronounce, Marion Vandersand, 6382, I'm so thrilled about that. Tammy Morgan, 1487. The Lazy Daisy Needlework, Lazy Daisy Needlework, and that is Monica, um, uh, welcome. Uh, Kath is it Katharina? Um, uh, Perry three six three five six, and that's the same first name as the uh, sample that I'm working on. Stitching down the rabbit hole. Annette Martin nine five four four, and Carol Fawcett one two nine seven. So that will be the next ten for the um, fourth Zoom meeting on um, September the eighth Sunday. Uh, from 12 to 2 p.m. East uh, Pacific Standard Time. And I will have all that information below, uh, including the link for the Google form, so I will have your um, emails. Uh, I am just 
beyond excited. Uh, it's, it's, they're just wonderful. Uh, it, they have meant the world to me. Okay, so I did want to mention that um, we did have a uh, live stitch uh, in Sacramento last Saturday with uh, For the Love of Stitches. This one was called Stitchcation, and it did involve the ability to buy a, uh, a box with patterns and, and goodies in it uh, from Annabella's. There was uh, several that did, several that didn't, but we had it in a, at a lovely facility. Thank you, Carrie, Chris, and Stephanie for all the hard work. Um, it, was, it was a beautiful venue. We had lots of light. We had brown tables. There were ta tablecloths on the table. It was, it was just lovely. And um, I got to spend uh, time with Stitchers, uh, which it just doesn't get any better than that. So um, thank you for all of that. And I will continue to go to those meetings once a, once a month as long as I can. So um, that was, was really uh, wonderful. Now, the next thing I want, I've got so much stuff here to do. I'm, I'm so afraid I'm going to forget something, but I'm so excited about all of it. The next thing I wanted to do is this was from a comment. And sometimes I realize I am, um, I am negligent and then I will throw things out that I do and I either call it by a made up name or um, I really don't, uh, don't explain it well. So um, you, you guys, you all have heard me mention that I make tags with a photo printer, um, a mini photo printer. And this one looks like this. It is the Kodak Step. Um, it, it, you load it up with, um, with the, the medium that will print the pictures. And we're gonna do one right now. Um, I put these on tags and then I put these tags on the um, outside of my project bags so I know what's in the bag and I have a picture of it. So what we're gonna do is, this works with your phone, okay? And so if you turn it on at the button, as long as you're paired up with your Bluetooth, um, it will come on, uh, we hope, and um, you'll have like, I'll show it really quick, a list of pictures that you can pick from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the photograph for the next sampler that I'm gonna start so that I will be able. So you can just select it, okay? And then you say print and print. And then all you do is you just wait and like magic, it will come out the slot. So there it goes. So it's starting to print. I, I very rarely adjust the color um, as long as I can read it and, and, and know what, um, uh, you know, what project is in there. That is uh, usually good enough for me. I, I will tell you another little trick I do. I keep a sticky note on top, and every time I print one, I put the number. It, it loads 10 at a time, and that way um, I don't run out of uh, paper. So there it is. So this is um, the, the chart that I'm gonna talk about, like morning dew on a rose by um, 1897 Stitchery that, um, that I bought at Stitch North. So now, so this comes out and then it has an adhesive back and when I, um, I use a die cut to make the tag, but you don't need to do that. Um, you can do anything you want, and then I just adhere that to that. So that is one thing that I do. So that's the Kodak step. I think there might be a Polaroid model. This makes two by three uh, little pictures. So that's how I use that. The other thing that I kind of threw out, and I wasn't sure uh, someone asked, and I didn't know if they meant what I just showed you are this. This, this goes back from days of, of all my making cards. This is called a Xyron Create a Sticker Mini. And if you see right here, I should have brought something I could put in here, but I did forget that. You can, you can put your um, piece of paper, like those stickers. You know, this is how I made these that I have stuck on here. 
that was some of that Tin Holtz ephemera. And then you just put them through here. You turn this knob, they come out on the other side and they have had uh, an adhesive applied. And then you can use them as stickers. So that's the um, uh, Xyron Create a Sticker Mini. And um, both of these I did purchase at Amazon. So that was just a little thing that I wanted to pass along to you guys. And I will try to be better about that than just, um, you know, throwing things out. And, um, and, and like I said, I generally make up a name. So there we go. Okay. Well, so while we, you know, we have it out and I could get this out of the way, this is my uh, planner for the month of August. I have been working on samplers, as you guys know. We'll discuss that in a minute. Um, so we can we can get that out of the way. Okay. So where do we want to go to next? Let's let's do um, let's do the, the, a couple of shout outs. And I have some very exciting news that um, most of you've heard about, but I want to share because there's a surprise there as well. Um, and um, what I, let, let me do the, the, the couple of shout outs. Okay, one was Barbara, and her floss tube is stitching and tea with B. So delightful. Um, and uh, Barbara, I love the fact that you love musical theater because I'm going to see Wicked next Sunday. Um, anyway, that, that's beyond the point. Um, she uh, stitches on a variety of things. She has a lovely voice. Um, and then at the end, she makes a, a cup of tea and she talks to you about the tea, which I thought was just ever so charming. So please go over to Barbara. Um, I will link her below and uh, give her a warm welcome from our wonderful community and subscribe and uh, do all the things that we do. Okay, the second one is Lizzie and her floss tube is Lizzie. And one in particular, it was a floss tube extra, and she has done, uh, she's done several collections. I think she did a collection of Christmas patterns, free Christmas patterns. She did one for summer, and she just released one for free samplers. And um, Lizzie, what, what a gift to the community. We're coming up on um, Sampler September, and um, for those of you that may not want to make an investment in a sampler, if you've never stitched one, um, this gives you a wonderful opportunity to get a free one. You can kit it up with some DMC and you're on your way. And I guarantee you, you'll, you'll love samplers and, um, and you'll, you'll be on your way <laughs> down that rabbit hole. So um, Lizzie, thank you for that. And so I encourage you guys to all go take a look at her floss tube channel and subscribe and do all the things, but I particularly wanted to draw that one to your attention because we are imminently upon September. So back to that, Sam for September, I always like to mention that dear Veronica of uh, Senorita Stitches on Instagram, this is going to be the seventh annual September Sampler Soiree. And, um, yeah, September Sampler Soiree is specifically for reproduction samplers. And the Sampler September is for any uh, original sampler or, uh, you know, any way that you, you, you want to present that. So um, she uh, has been uh, putting this together now for seven years. Um, I salute you, Veronica. Veronica is a a beautiful stitcher. She's a beautiful person. I have got gotten to meet her and I'm very thrilled about that. Um, she also mentions in her post, and I will have run her uh, Instagram um, address uh, below, that um, the attic, hello Jean, Carolyn, and everybody, the attic has a section on their website that um, has, that is isolating 37 of Jean's favorite samplers. So this also puts in one spot a place that you can go and pick out a sampler. And there is anywhere from a 15, I think, to a 20% discount, or 10 to 15% discount, depending on whether you buy, you know, the chart with the fabric, the chart with the fabric and floss, etc. And so again, it's, it's another a wonderful opportunity. There is no, um, 
Jean's taste in samplers will be um, pretty much t t top of the mountain. So that's a, a, a wonderful place to, um, to go to pick one of those out. So um, if you check the post under uh, Veronica, Senior, Sen Senorita Stitches, um, she describes all that. And uh, uh, everyone has, has just come back from uh, summer school at the attic and I did get to have a wonderful Zoom this morning with uh, Kim, the contented stitcher, and Steph, uh, late girl stitches, and just got to revel again in their, um, their wonderful time um, with everyone and with the wonderful faculty and, uh, and of course, Jean and the attic. So, okay, so I've done, I've done that. And the other thing, and I'll just uh, stick a picture up here. This was just another sampler that has really caught my eye. Um, I haven't purchased it yet, but it is in a cart to be purchased. And that is Hannah Atwater uh, by Mama Loves You GB. Um, I will put that information below for her Etsy um, store. Michelle has also found out that she will most likely be on the faculty for Sampler Symposium in January of 2025. So uh, how exciting that will be. Um, but this sampler just, um, I don't know why, it, it just really, uh, I, I love it. And I, no, that, that's another sampler that she's doing it to. Uh, I'm, I'm anxiously waiting for a, another chart that, that she is working on. But um, anyway, that's Hannah Atwater and uh, that was designed by um, Mama Loves UGB. So let's get to this extremely exciting news. Um, as most of you know, um, Shelly of the Antique Needle Workers has, has, I would say dipped her toe, but I think she's put her whole foot in it, um, into the designing world. And she's made that announcement and she did that on floss tube number 43. And lucky for all of you, she reached out to me um, and she has sent me the first three charts, and um, and she sent me one to, to give away to all of you. So we're gonna go through that. I'll give you the keyword for the giveaway. Um, but Shelly, um, I watched that video. I know because I have watched many others as they make that um, initial debut about their stitching. Uh, my heart went out to you. I was always so happy to hear that you had so many people in your court and helping you through this. And um, you know that we're gonna all be there for you. So uh, thank you for thinking of me to, um, to share the word about your uh, new designs. So I quickly went in first and I jumped in and this is her freebie. And I stitched that up and it is on a 37 count Russian tea cake, and I use the uh, Gloriana Poinsettia, which I use for Mary 395. I didn't get the chance to make it up into the pillow that I will be doing, but it's stop, drop, and stitch. So this is a free pattern by Shelly, and um, you can get that on her website, and I will have all that information below. She um, you do, you know, have to go through the cart, but there's no charge for it. So I encourage you all to, because um, it really worked up very quickly. I think I only, it only took me two happy hours, as, as I want to say. So um, that was the first one. So I've got that stitched. So let's, I'm just always making sure I, um, that I don't show a chart. And for this one, I'm just going to fold this a little bit so that the chart is not there. And this one is called Be Ye Kind. And she plans to do a series of the um, Be Ye uh, with, a, with a word. And um, it's, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a little one page chart. And um, the design is 63 by 65, 65 by 65. Shame on me for not having my glasses here. So um, this is the first one, and we all love a series, so we know more will be coming. So that is Be Ye Kind. If you would like to um, put your ring, your hat into the ring for that, 
Okay, let me find my sticky note. Okay, be ye kind. The, the uh, word that I want you to use is key because there's a key right there. Okay, the, um, the next chart is a beautiful little reproduction sampler. Look at this. Delia Conger. It is sweet, which is going to be the key word, but I just, I just look at that and I, I, I see a little girl in a, in a beautiful little dress sitting there acting like a grown-up with their little ankles crossed, stitching this beautiful piece. So that's um, Delia Conger, and that is, and, uh, is a reproduction sampler of which um, I, I think we will see a lot more of from Shelley. And then um, the last one, which is, uh, is called The Law of Kindness, and I want to read what this says. She opens her mouth with, with wisdom, and on her tongue is the law of kindness. Um, uh, I know this means a lot to Shelly. Uh, it means a lot to me as well, because as you know, I, I talk about being kind as we end every video uh, and the importance. Our world needs a lot of kindness. So that is, be, uh, is the law of kindness. Now, in this chart, there is also, oh, I just don't have a way of showing it. There's a little, there's going to be a little pin pillow using this rose, and it is so cute. And there, this is the thing, Shelly, uh, I just thought this was brilliant. Oh. Do I not have it? Oh, I guess for some reason I didn't make the... Oh well, um, I didn't make a copy of it, but it is a um, it is a little needle card uh, that you can stitch with on perforated paper. So it's just a small little thing, and then you can put this uh, piece across that will hold your needles. And um, I just thought that was brilliant, and I think she plans to do more of those as well. So I I really you know maybe could it stick to this? No, it didn't. Um, I'm really sorry about that, that I don't have that picture. But, uh, so, for, um, for Delia Conger, the word that I want you to use in the um, giveaway is sweet. For the law of kindness, I want you to use the word law, L-A-W, and then for be ye kind, use key. Um, Please don't use any um, words like prize, giveaway, winner, woohoo, uh, in your comment. Uh, and also make sure that um, you are over 18 because I'll have to ask you for your address. So, um, very exciting news. It's always wonderful when um, uh, floss tubers or any of you uh, decide to start designing. And I always want to celebrate that and I always want to share it with all of you. So that is, um, and then, and, and I also encourage you to go to Shelly's uh, Antique Needleworks, or floss tube number 43, where she makes the big announcement, and she will show you things just a little bit better than I did. So um, please um, don't hesitate to use those keywords if you would like to um, me to, to send you those charts, and then I will jump back to the Zoom, and always remember to put Zoom in your comment if you would like to be a part of the uh, Zooms that we're having every two weeks as well. Okay, so I think I think I did that. Um, and I'm gonna take just a little drink of water. We have been having this glorious weather. We actually had two days that were in the 70s. It was, ah, it was wonderful, but it has warmed back up today, so I, I might be drinking a little bit more. Okay, so now we can jump into shares and have I got some fabulous shares for you. So let's, let's go for it. The first one is from Girchi. And you guys have heard me talk about Girchi. Uh, Girchi was diagnosed with ALS. Um, she has had to stop cross-stitching, 
but she hasn't stopped being creative. So I am running across a picture of a diamond painting that she did. I don't have the name of it, but um, it is beautiful. And I am so happy that Girchi is able to um, continue to, uh, to do a, a creative things. And, um, and you know I love you so much. So um, thank you for allowing me to share that. The second one is from Brenda, and this, oh, this is fabulous, because I will be showing mine. This is a token for my friend, and the, the one that I'm doing is called Sewn in Friendship, but, but there are two, and you can, she put them together for, for the whole thing. You, you guys have seen that concept, well, you, and you're seeing it now. Um, oh, I just love it. She stitched it, um, she made it into a pillow for a friend's uh, 65th birthday, and um, I won't be able to do that because they don't think I left enough room on the fabric of mine. But um, anyway, I, I, I was very touched, Brenda, that, uh, that you sent that so that I could see what it looked like all together. The next one is Jeannie, and this is Be Silly by Lizzie Kate. She stitched it on a 32 count sand Belfast linen. She used the call for uh, DMC. She stitched it two over two and she framed it herself. Go Jeannie. Uh, the next one is, oh, this is just amazing. This is from Louise. I know a lot of you may have seen this on um, Instagram. This is the Old Scott by Hands Across the Sea. And it was to celebrate her husband and her 60th birthdays and a trip to Scotland. She stitched this on 46 count Bristol Gay Time Linen by Number 12 Stitch Co. Um, she used a conversion uh, to 103's uh, of Arisois. I'm going to put her Instagram uh, address below because uh, I encourage you to check out the post. But um, if I read everything right, Louise just started cross-stitching in 2020. And look at this work of art. So thank you for sharing that, Louise. Um, the next piece we have is from Denise, and it's Autumn Squirrel by Barbara Anna, and it's from the Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher, Fall 2021 issue. She stitched it on a 28 count mystery linen. Um, you know, I still have the, the uh, stitch along or the hashtag going Stitch Smalls from PMPS to encourage us to use these fabulous uh, charts that we have in this magazine. And if you're not subscribing, I encourage you to do so. Um, Deborah, oh, my dear friend, Deborah. Uh, this is Shingle Spring Stitcher. She finished Ever, Every Opening Flower by Brenda Gervais. She stitched it on a 36 count overcast by Cedar River Linen and Designs. And she used the called for um, floss. And she stitched on this every Sunday but one she started in March and she finished it this August. And finally, Cindy, and this was also posted on um, Instagram and I was so blown away by it. I asked her to send me the picture and it's Guardians of the Rainforest by Terry Isaac. It was charted by Charting Creations. It has 99,600 stitches. She started it in June of 2022, and she finished it in August of 2024. Um, and she will be cele celebrating her 50th wedding anniversary uh, on no November 16th. So if we can tuck that date away and, um, and send her best wishes for that. So those are, are my beautiful shares for today. I, I absolutely... Uh, love that you guys take the time to send those. Um, so, so thank you very much. All right, now let's see where are we going to go from there. I guess now we'll di we'll dip into what I've been doing. Um, I did have the new start of stop, drop, and stitch. I guess this was a a S, -S A F a SAF a start and finish since you've seen me last. Um, I um, but my big new start was a little bit of spring by Blackbird Design. Uh, let me get that chart up. Uh, this is also being done, and I think the hashtag, I, 
thought I wrote it down, is Bit of Spring Sal, and I'll put that, uh, Jim, of uh, Stitching Jim, and uh, Laurel of I Am a Stitch Nerd uh, are heading that up. And um, actually, uh, uh, Kim, the Contented Stitcher, was working on that today on our Zoom call. This um, are the flosses, and I'm using the uh, call for DMC on this one. And they are just beautiful. Those of you with a good eye may have seen the little photo bomb of my husband, Stan. And um, I st I'm stitching this on a 36 count overcast, which we just heard by Cedar River, River Designs. And uh, this is my progress so far. So this was started, I think, um, well, it was started August 15th. I gave it three days and um, this is what I got done. So of course I have dangling threads. Let's see if I can get those out of the way just a little bit. So this is, I love this fabric. You guys have heard me rave about uh, and seen the piece of uh, Pennsylvania deer sampler that I'm doing on red cedar by Jody. So, you know, it's, 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 it could be a little bigger start, but it's a healthy start. So that is a little bit of spring, and that was um, my new start. Now, uh, I'm going to show you something else, uh, the bag that it's housed in. And for any of you that are uh, faint of heart, you may choose to look away. Um, because, or you want, may want to put sunglasses on. But this is another bag I made. Now, is that using up fabric? I mean, we got color every which way. And I put this on heat and bond, and I die cut this big leaf. Um, we've got that kind of fabric. We've got that kind of fabric. We've got that kind of fabric. What do you think? <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Um, and then you can see here, the, um, this is how I use the picture that I just made. And I put it on a tag. I'm having a ball with these. This has opened a whole new uh, thought process. That could be fun. Because uh, I have a lot of die cuts from my card making days. So um, anyway, so that is uh, my new project bag. I, I know a little bit of spring probably deserves something a little more demure than, um, than that wildness. But um, th that's, that's where it's going to live for now. So um, I also completed a second napkin. I did put this up on... Um, Instagram. This is hashtag motif memories. This is from um, uh, Martha Evans. I had just finished stitching it and I just love the colors in it. So now I have two and it's interesting because they're both birds. So maybe I should continue going with that for this first set. So for this, I use the water soluble waste canvas. I am stitching it only with DMCs so that they can be washed and hopefully uh, the color won't run. And um, it's, it's great fun. So, um, so I got that done. And then my other fully finish is the flight. And I've got to finish. I think this is not Forgotten Farm. Oh, I'll run it below. But I actually had some Halloween fabric. I put the uh, Lady Dot Chenille, um, and I'm probably gonna put like a, a pin with some black buttons or something uh, on the back as well. But um, I think this was uh, somewhat dedicated to Laura, uh, the way she uh, shooms to, um, to get the latest chart, but it's the flight. Um, I don't remember what I stitched it on. I think I finished it last year. But um, I, And this is licorice, um, is the Lady.Create Chanel. So, so we have another pillow. So 
uh, later as it gets closer to the season, I'm going to be able to show you all the pillows that I have. Now, um, this was a, also a cautionary tale. As you guys can see, I'm wearing a Band-Aid. Uh, I had my first run-in with a rotary cutter. Yes, I did. And um, the takeaways are I got no blood on the piece, uh, and, and there was a bit. And, um, and, and it was my left hand, and it didn't stop me from cross-stitching. So, uh, but I will reiterate, uh, as everyone does when they mention a rotary cutter, please be very, very careful with them. Um, this could have been uh, way more serious than it was. I did go into the nail, um, and those rotary cutters will cut the nail as well. So, be careful. But um, we made it, the, the, the fabric uh, survived with, with no injury, so. Okay, um, all right, the next thing that I wanna do, I think we'll go to whips. Let me look down and make sure. Okay, this is the, um, the calendar of what I have worked on so far. As you can see, I have, you know, with either a new start or starting up here, with, this was with a little bit with the garden sampler was the first one. Um, and then also a little bit of happiness, which started um, August 15th, which is right here. Uh, I will show you the whips that I have worked on. And then tomorrow I will be starting um, Antonio Roselle y Garcia. So it's working, it's working out. And of course, Sundays are always Vince's um, stocking. Okay, so let's let's do the let's do the um, the whips. Um, so the first one is the one that we were just talking about from the share, and that is uh, "Sewn in Friendship" by Heart Steering Samplery. I am doing this on a 25 count Lugana, a mushroom Lugana, and I'm using a mix a mixture of the called for uh, variegated and um, DMC. And uh, this is where I am now, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting the bird in. And for those of you who have stitched it before, this should, this greenery here should be white. Um, I mixed up the, uh, the key chart thing. So, um, but that's, that's how we're gonna stay. You know, looking at that, I, I do have enough if I wanted to get that other chart. I don't, I hope they just match up and I don't have to do anything special, but that is a possibility. I was doing this really more to have a, a small ready, but you never know what I will do. But that's Sewn in Friendship by Heartstring Samplery. Uh, like I said, my plan is always to have a one over one piece going because I enjoyed it very much. Okay, next we have Martha Evans, oh my gosh, I love this chart so much. Martha Evans, 1879. This was the chart that was selected for Brenda, uh, Brenda the Serial Starter for her uh, 60th birthday. I got this at um, the attic when I was there for Sampler Symposium. I am stitching this on a uh, 40 count prairie grass by seraphim and I'm using the call for DMC and This is where I am. It's a big piece of fabric So I am uh, You know slowly working on that border, but I got a lot done. I I finished I don't know what that is. It's a cat with the crown a dog with the crown the bird that you just saw, the, the flower next to it, I did, uh, uh, like I said, work on the border going around, but uh, the colors in this just, oh, I, I just almost shiver every time I pick it up. It's a beautiful piece of fabric. So that's Martha Evans, 1879. Maybe they'll like that for a uh, screenshot. Okay. It's, it's, I say it about them all. You guys know, I, I just love, I love cross-stitching. And I just, I love the pieces. 
that I have picked a stitch up. So that is Martha Evans. The next one is um, was a happy hour stitch, which I, uh, I I guess you always find a way to cheat a little, <laughs> so I could stitch on a couple of more things other than just the three days of the sampler, and that is um, Courage by Cottage Garden Samplings. I am stitching this for a friend uh, that had a recurrence of her breast cancer, and this was also a salve um, for uh, Pam, and it's hashtag, I'm going to forget, I'll put it below, oh, you know what, I have it right here, it's Pam Survival Salve. Um, so, I am stitching it on a 36 count uh, hog gristle by Fox and Rabbit. I'm using the called for over dyed floss, and I'm really starting to get the other, uh, this other row of flowers in. Oh, it's so exciting. So that is Courage by Cottage Garden Samplings. Oh, I love it. So, that is that one. Okay, the next one, the next sampler that was on my list of 10 to work on was the Red Deer Sampler. I know he's, he's, he's hammering just a bit. I'm stitching this on a 36 count piece of x -Jew Designs called 1001 Nights. I'm using the Vicki Clayton Silks. And the most exciting thing, okay, before I show it, the deer's not done. Okay, Mel, not done. But, you know, it gets a thread now and then, and um, I won't call it finished until the, the deer is done. But, um, so, this is my progress, but what I'm most excited about is that so I am with a lot of dangling threads. You, you use these threads again. I just don't like picking them up. So um, I've got the, that whole, this whole piece in here. This is where I'm working. But this is a start into that glorious bouquet in the middle. Ooh. So, you know, I've almost gone to the bottom. Oh, I just love this. You just look at it and the and, and you're just a wash in the colors. It's a beautiful this is by GGR. I don't think I mentioned that. The Red Deer Sampler by GGR. So it got three days as well. I don't know why I thought I needed a half yard. There must have been a reason. It is on a rather large piece of fabric, is it not? Um, that out of the way. Back there. The next one is um, this is what I will work on this afternoon. I, I lost a few things because this will be the last day that I work on Katharina, Adriana. Lewinson, Lunison. Um, this is by 1884 Stitchery. I am stitching this on a piece of either yeah, a 36 count. A, 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 I counted the threads. It's 35 to 36. I'm pretty sure it's some type of picture this plus, um, but I don't know exactly which one. I failed to label it and I'm using the called for uh, DMC. Okay, and this is my progress on this. A another large piece of uh, fabric, but look at the bird. I've got a lot of work done on the bird and I keep um, continuing to bring this border over. 
I love that, 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 can you see, you know, it's just every other color in, in, in this here. Um, I love when it's designed like that. It gives it so much texture. So I'm enjoying this very much. It's a beautiful piece of fabric. So, hopefully I can learn on um, the Zoom with Katharina, because that was the name of one of the women picked for the Zoom, that I can learn to pronounce this correctly. Um, and, um, and, and not mangle it every time I, I say it. Uh, Karen, the monogamous stitcher, is also working on that piece. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you're not watching her, the recovering monogamous stitcher, um, I, I suggest going and seeing her progress as well. Um, this is my um, focus piece, and that is Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs. And Katie finished it. I was so happy for her. I think it's the biggest thing she's ever done. And she did a beautiful job. So congratulations, Katie. And I am stitching this one on a 36 count flannel flower by Fox and Rabbit. I'm using the called for um, over dyed floss. And um, I ended up working on this a little bit this morning. so. I, um, I've got this in. I don't know how many more days it's going to get this. Let's see, did I write today? So one, two, three, four, five. It, it gets one more day this month, which usually I'm kind of giving it happy hour stitching, but on more than, you know, trying to give it at least two hours a day. So that's a joyous day, but I'm down to the bottom, and I love that so much. Okay, and then the final piece will be my um, two threads a day. Little did I ever suspect that, that you guys might be seeing this for the rest of your lives. Um, it is summer at Cherry Hill. I hope I get it done before you have to look at it in the winter by Brenda Gervais. And I'm stitching this on um, 36 count stars hollow blend by R&R &R, and I'm using the called for over dyed floss. And this is um, I, her, her dress is coming down, and I, I have worked in, um, so all of this is done, uh, all of these flowers, I don't know if I had done that before, but that's all done. So it's basically her dress and this bottom grass. There's another bee skip in here, um, a couple of little doodads, and then she'll be done. So I have a question for you guys. Do you see um, all the uh, cherries up there? And there is one, um, you can see the light spot. I'm thinking about leaving that and not adding the, just the corn silk or whatever the light color is that goes in that. What do you guys think? Because I see that. I see it as sort of that where the sun catches I would love I would love to know what you guys think. So, should I fill those in with thread or should I leave it? That's a, that's a question I have for you all. I trust your judgment implicitly. So, summer at Cherry Hill. I know you all hope I will start putting four threads in a day or something, right? So, those are my whips that I have worked on. So obviously, you know, I do a lot less when I'm really concentrating on getting some samplers done. So I'll take a little drink. And let's see. So, plans. Yeah. 
plans. Okay, so I'm, you know, I'm continuing on. I will work on a, a sampler every three days. I plan on September 1st to start um, Like Morning Dew on a Rose by um, 1887 Schoolhouse Samplers. I have the overdyes. I have some thought of doing it on um, a 25 count Lugana. I haven't completely decided. But I will be starting that September 1st and give it three days. And then I will have one remaining new start for sampler September and that will be winter wonderland by blackbird designs and i think brenda the physical stitcher is planning on doing this as well again i can check with her for sure so that and then I will fill in with the remaining um, samplers of which I don't have that book, but I know one is Ann Campion, which means there's gonna be some one over one stitching. There's going to be uh, going back to face the slub, um, but I am, I'm looking forward to it because I don't have that much of it left. I think um, Little Birds is one of the ones and I'm thinking that because I picked 10, I might be able to add a couple more uh, the, the way every three days is breaking down. And I will, um, I will let you guys know which samplers will fill those spots if I need more than 10. So, so that, those are my plans. So I have, I actually have a little bit of um, uh, purchases and I have, uh, I have a happy um, I have a happy gift because it wasn't mailed, but I am so excited. Deborah, the Shingle Spring Stitcher, had two of these, and so she gave me uh, one, and it's the Basket of Cherries. It's number one in the Garden Club series, and I am pretty positive that this is what Chris Cross Stitch was his first Blackbird that he stitched. And so now I have that one and I have uh, the gardener, which is number nine, I believe. So I think there's 12 total. But anyway, Deborah, thank you so much for thinking of me. Um, I, I did get to see Deborah Saturday um, at the um, For the Love of Stitches. So uh, thank you so much for that. And then as far as... Um, Purchases I got, um, I did order, make sure there's something. This pattern is ABC Fall Sampler, and it's from Lisa in Lost in Stitches. And I just, you guys know how I feel about these uh, fancy uh, uh, letters. I just love it. So, um, and it lends itself to, you know, two colors, and um, I, I really hope I make a, a, a great choice. This it could also be something that I do one over one, uh, because I also got, and I'm, I'm just not going to make all that noise, but I got this gorgeous, and that's pretty true, piece of fabric at For the Love of Stitches. Lynn was there. Uh, I mean, yes, those missing stitches, Lynn. And this is called Vigilant VN, and it is a 25 count Lugana. So a couple of choices there that I might do with that. But um, Lisa does have an Etsy shop. I will put that down below. And, uh, but I, I, she has several designs in there and I just couldn't pass up this one so those were the um, those were the purchases so I think I, I did that okay let me take a, uh, just a little glance all right okay wow 
So, um, if you are if you are new to my floss tube channel, I hope you like what you saw and that you will subscribe, ring the bell, share, and do all the things that we do on floss tube. Um, I, I I know I am I am woefully behind in answering comments, but um, you know that they will get answered and read. Um, it, it you know, it, but they will. So that's that's just. Uh, what I do and um, and I love your comments and they they mean a lot to me they encourage me that they they, uh, they often include you know prayers and good thoughts for even the family uh, who uh, by the way uh, she is doing wonderful she has been handed back from the maternal fetal specialist to her regular OB which is a um, which is a good sign and so we're we're um, you know how it is, but we're 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 very happy about that. So, um, but just one thing that I I thought um, I would sort of end with. Um, I don't I don't. Th th there, Katie Strachan's most recent um, floss tube. She talked about um, the project that she uh, taught at the summer school, and. It was uh, for a, a relative. It was for one of her great aunts, or, or just maybe an aunt, her mother's sister. I, I don't remember. I'm sorry, Katie. I'm, the point is, is that when she went back to find out as much as she could about her, um, you know, there wasn't much written. And sometimes that is not an uncommon thing that happens. And a lot of times it is to women. And um, I don't think I only talk to women in, in these floss tubes. Um, but I, I do think as much as we can, you know, let's, let's keep the story alive of our families because um, we are so dedicated to keeping the story alive for these little girls and boys that have stitched samplers. Um, but you know, maybe not to forget um, our own families and what we might leave for our children so that, um, like Katie, they won't face a time when they want to uh, to do something to memorialize or to honor a family member and not be able to find too much um, out about them. So, um, you know, let's, 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 Let's keep that in the back of our heads and do as much as we can to keep our, our stories alive. And um, because I think it's, it's, it's very important. And if it's done by writing, if it's done by uh, something on the back of a fit, fully finished uh, sampler, but um, just, uh, I think it's, it's, a good, it's a good goal to, to keep the story alive. Um, I also want to, to mention um, that we continue to love and and to be kind and to keep good thoughts for our community and prayers good thoughts and prayers for our world um, because as I always say we are a, a power and a force to be reckoned with our wonderful community of cross stitchers so um, I think that I have covered everything on the table, so I'm going to ask you to grab your stitching, get comfortable, and stitch what you love. I have no words for what you all mean to me. So, um, bye. Until next time. <laughs>